Tuesday starts. Congratulations to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. Yes, yes. You can't do it. I'm a cat. I can do this in my sleep. Not again. Ooh. Now, my dear daughters, pay close attention. When applying color to your lips, be steady of hand and spare of color. Like this. Tongue. Every time I turn around, the rules are being ignored. Must I see to everything Don't. myself? And another thing, I... Oh, Tan, you sing with the voice of a thousand angels. What a treasure you are. I can't enjoy my garden. I can't even have a peaceful meal. And all because of his, his oh, horrible screeching. I must end this once and for all. Magistrate is sad because Tongue, his cherished cricket, has passed away. But I heard Tongue singing just yesterday. <laughs> Here, husband, it was just a cricket. I'm sure you could find.
The passing of tongue. What is morning? Shh. It's a time to be quiet and remember what tongue meant to us. Perhaps a funeral is too much for Sagwa to deal with. Why don't you go and play by the pond? Hmm. What did tongue mean to me? What's everybody doing? Well, they're having a funeral for Tongue. Ah! Whoa! Oh, oh, poor! Are you Tongue's g g ghost? I don't think so. Nope, not a ghost. But if you're here, who's in the cage? Let me tell you, my furry friend. Doing a beautiful rendition of one of my favorite songs. <laughs> Come in, my little friend. We're going on a trip. My good man. the cricket in this box to a field far, far away. Watch out for his singing. And the vendor dropped me into a field that was far, far away from here. No. Yes, but what he didn't know was that when he wasn't looking, I hopped into his cart and came right back into town with him. Wow. But who's in the cage? I don't know. Maybe Tai Tai found a dead cricket in the garden and put it in the cage for the magistrate to find. I can't believe Tai Tai would be so, so mean. What I don't understand is why she kept going on about my horrible singing. I have the voice of a thousand angels. The magistrate said so. Let me demonstrate. Uh, now isn't a good time. Uh-oh. I wonder if I did the right thing. Okay, she's gone. Sounds like somebody's feeling a little guilty. Yeah, but it doesn't look like she's doing anything about it. Well, maybe she just needs someone to give her the idea. You think so? Ah, peace and quiet. Oh, maybe too quiet. My beloved husband did enjoy Tang singing so. Yeah! What? I, I must be hallucinating. for getting rid of Tang. I hear his horrible singing everywhere I go. Hmm. <laughs> the next person to anger me will be banished. Do you hear me? What have I done? My dear husband hasn't been the same without Tang. I must find some way to make him feel better. I'll just have to find Tang and bring him back. It's the only way. Who knows? Maybe his singing isn't as bad as I remember. What does she mean, bad? I have the voice of a thousand angels. been gone a long time. Huh? All 
that searching and no tongue. Oh. Well, it isn't tongue, but perhaps it will cheer my husband anyway. quiet. Perhaps you'll sing for the magistrate later on. Now to get my husband so he can see his new cricket and be happy again. Whoa there! Are you trying to give me a heart attack? I have my singing career to think about. Shh! I just wanted to wish you luck. Why can't you just tell me what it is, my daughter's little? Dear husband, I know that you have been sad since Tang passed away. So, I have gotten you another cricket to lift your spirits. No one will ever take the place of my dear old Tang. He looks a little common, but will he sing for me? Oh. He's not quite tongue, but he does have the voice of 500 angels. Thank you, dear wife. coordination and courage. Ancient acrobatics used everyday items found around the house. Today, they still use plates, bowls, pots, and tables. Acrobats start training when they're really young. They go to a special school and practice eight hours a day. Maybe if I keep practicing... Whoa! What about you? Do you play a sport? I was at my, um step-grandparents and we drove into this little park I think there was a basketball court then like some playing equipment we were shooting hoops and I just couldn't get it and I tried with a soccer ball and I still couldn't get it then finally we had to leave and um, I was like one more time and I said and he said okay and I took the soccer ball and I shot it and it went in and it just felt so good <laughs> And then he picked me up and we ran around like, rice and beans, beans and rice. But, yeah, I felt really good. Now that was a great story. Wow, tumbling, dribbling, and jumping? Did you know that jumping rope is considered a sport? They're jumping with two ropes. It's called double dutch, since it was brought to America by Dutch settlers. These girls are in a rope jumping competition, and as with all team sports, cooperation is crucial. Whether it's acrobatics, basketball, or double dutch, kids all over the world are jumping into sports. Oh. What about you? Next on Sagwa. It just seems like yesterday when I first found you in that pot of ashes. Whatever you say. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Don't call me sir. I'm not that old. Fufu's the name. You are... Sagwa. My name is Sagwa. 